hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create an animation for our instagram story inside head film express so uh here i am on the project settings page of head film express and the first thing that i'll do is we'll change the width and the height so for the width we're going to go with 1080 and height we're going to go with 1920 frame rate should be 60 and rest of the settings should be okay and we can also save this template so you can just click on this icon and just rename this template to Instagram story click on OK to save it and click on start compositing and once it opens up you just click on the cog icon on the lower left corner and here we have the composite shot properties uh, we need to change the name to something other than composite shot one let's just call this main duration uh, we can keep that to 10 seconds long and click on OK so now we'll start by creating a background so create a new plane layer and call this background and we can just use any color pick any color from this window click on ok to apply it and now we need to import our image so here i have the image i'm going to drag it onto the timeline and i can just make adjustments to this for example like scale it down and once you do that you just right click on the image click on make composite shot and you can just rename this to anything so let's say image placeholder and uh, from this settings we need to uh, select these two options current timeline and move it layer click on ok let's just close this back to our main composite shot um, so what i want to do is i want to create those fave wavy patterns at the top and at the bottom so for that i'll just um, use these background layer apply it and um, i can't just straight away use the waves effect for that uh, for this waves effect to work i need to create a mask so let's just use the rectangular mask tool and create a mask like that and now i can just apply the waves effect on this layer Let's just rename this to waves top and uh, let's go to the controls tab and here are the waves so i'm going to set the frequency to one and i'm going to increase the amplitude so let's just crank that up to 90 and right now our waves don't have any kind of animation so we can change that by increasing the phase speed so i'm going to increase that to 0.10 so we have this kind of animation and uh, on the and also in the effects tab we're going to search for the color gradient effect apply it on this layer let's change the blend to normal set the opacity to 100 and uh, we can just change the start color let's just pick this purple color click on ok and the end color we change that to this we can basically change it to any other color Let's just uh, pick this hot pink color, click on OK to apply it. And let's just select the selection tool and get these points right here. So I'm going to put this one on the left side. We have another point which we are going to put it on the right side. So we can increase the distance between these two points and you see we get the, we get this nice gradient, nice and smooth gradient going on. Okay, so once you are satisfied with that uh, we are we can just move forward to the next step uh, which is uh, we'll just move the just duplicate this and we'll call this waves bottom and we can basically rotate this so let's go transform and rotate this by 180 so we have the waves from the bottom as well so let's just see yeah so it's uh, it's gonna look something like that and let's go to the effects color gradient and we can like change the look of this gradient so i'm gonna change the end color set select the same purple color and i'm gonna use the darker tone of this so click on ok to apply it so kind of have this gradient going on obviously you can just choose your own colors so we have that and now I need to animate it so let's just uh, create a text okay so let's just first of all create a text so click on new layer click on text 
I'm gonna select the text tool and this is something new in the version 10 of headphone so once you create the text tool I mean the text layer you just select the text tool and you can see the blinking cursor right here so just start typing right away I'm gonna type in Friday and it didn't work let's just do that again there we go Friday I'm gonna select the text go to text tab and I'm gonna change the font I'm gonna use this font increase the font size and font style and then we can go to layout and center this up like that I'm gonna rename this text to Friday I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna again use the text tool select the text remove it and I'm gonna type in flock then I'm gonna move this text under the Friday text like that and I'll just also rename this layer to vlog so we'll just drag the vlog layer and put it under the Friday text layer and uh, to stylize this looks pretty flat right now so I'm gonna go to effects and search for the drop shadow effect and apply it on the Friday text layer in the drop shadow we are going to change the penumbra and also we're gonna change the distance so now it looks like the shadows are falling on this vlog text um, sort of gives it a bit of a depth in this can increase the penumbra and maybe we can increase the opacity let's just in, uh, select the vlog text layer and move it like that okay looks okay and I'm gonna create a new gonna create a new point layer and I'm just going to pair in the waves to that point layer and I'm gonna animate the point layer so now I'm going to go to one second create a keyframe move back to the very first frame and I'm gonna increase this okay and now uh, we have this kind of animation so we select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier go to value graph and we select the second handle and drag it all the way to the left so now our animation will look something like that um, I'm gonna do the create another point layer so let's just call this point waves so I'm gonna create another point layer and call this point let's just call this point okay so uh, I want to pair in the placeholder the two text layers to the point layer and uh, I'm gonna create similar kind of animation create a scale keyframe move back I'll just increase this a bit and uh, we select these two keyframes convert it to manual bezier go to value graph and create a similar kind of slope so we have something like that and on the image placeholder go to transform and at one second we'll create a scale keyframe and we'll move right to the end and keep on increasing this so increase that to around 130 so we have this okay so far so good then uh, we need to create some arrows and some see more text you know you just swipe up and it takes you to the next page so create a new um, well let's just use the same background layer we'll call this arrow and I am going to search for the fill color effect and apply it on this layer to change its color to white <clears throat> and then I'm going to hide this layer use the rectangular mask tool and create a shape like that okay so let's just enable this now what I want to do is I want to go inside the mask shape and we'll increase the expansion so you see we get these rounded corners uh, but we want to create the pill kind of shape so we increase expansion we also increase the roundness and you'll get this pill 
kind of shape um, it will not look perfect but let's just use that we can duplicate this mask or uh, first of all let's just use the selection tool and uh, you can see the anchor point is right here so hold the shift key and move this anchor point right in the center like that and we can now rotate this to 45 degrees okay um, and now maybe I can just now look at this change the settings like that Let's see if it's gonna look better no so um, we duplicate the mask and go inside shape not the shape go inside transform and we'll set the rotation to negative 45 we'll just change the position like that okay looks good and we have the arrow so we'll just duplicate this layer and we have the second arrow you can move it down or move it up like that okay so um, before we center this up we need to create a text layer so then we select the text tool and type in our text so I'm gonna type in see more select the text go to text tab and we change the font size and also the font style we just set that to italic uh, we we'll just bring it down like that maybe just decrease the size like that maybe around 42 looks good and the layout tab we can just try to center this up which it looks pretty center to me um, and now we can like um, use uh, we can and now we can select the arrow layers both the arrow layers and we can just scale it down hold the shift key and just scale it down and just move it down like that okay uh, now we're gonna select the top layer the arrow and bring it down like so and now we need to animate these arrows so uh, we will do that by creating a new point layer call this arrow animator I'm gonna parent these two arrow layers to the arrow animator layer we'll transform and we'll begin our animation at one second uh, we'll create a position keyframe move 30 frames forward set that to 60 move 30 frames forward set that back to 0 and we move 30 frames forward set that back to 60 select all the keyframes and convert it to convert these keyframes to manual bezier so now we'll have this kind of animation so after 60 it should again start at zero so I'm going to copy these keyframes move 30 frames forward paste the keyframes move to the end and move 30 frames forward paste the keyframes and just repeat the process so we see we have this kind of animation So uh, there we go. That's how you can create this cool uh, Instagram story animation in HitFilm Express. Um, uh, we can also duplicate these wave lists. So let's just do that. Waves bottom. I can just duplicate it, and I can. This is face bottom. So I can just you know change the position and stuff like that. Just make sure that you don't have these you don't cut the layer so uh, to fix that we can like increase the scale on this and now you can just move you have more freedom to move around this layer so you can see we have these nice gradients going on at the bottom and we can also like uh, stagger this layer maybe by about 10 or 15 frames and it'll create a really nice kind of animation we can also go to controls and effects we can change the 
look of the gradient as well so let's just do that real quick maybe let's go with the black one black and the end color let's just make it look something like this so we have something like that so uh, basically that's how you can create this kind of animation you do the same thing from the top as well and that's pretty much it so I hope you kind of uh, like this tutorial kind of enjoyed it I hope it was helpful to you if it was please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.